Good morning, YouTube. Okay, so I want to quickly talk about a neat little uh, tool that I have found I discovered recently for creating repeating backgrounds. And what that is, is um, you can use them in social media posts. You can also use them in your website. Um, if you do a lot more of the creative work, this has come in handy a lot more than if you're just... Um, uh, if you're just uh, using it for websites, obviously, you, you know, your use would be a lot more limited. That said, uh, it is a free tool. It is available online at patterneco.com, P-A-T-T-E-R-N-I-C-O.com. And so you go to the website. You don't have to sign in. It's free of charge, so that's awesome. And basically, the user interface is you start up here on the upper left-hand corner. And with that, you select, by default, it has this yellow background, uh, but you can also select any different color if you're trying to match a color or if you, you know, if you are just looking for different colors. There you go. Um, you can click around to kind of find something, the lighter ones or the darker ones, depending upon what you're looking for. We'll, uh, we'll go back to this, something in the middle here. We'll, we'll uh, since Halloween's coming up, we'll go with a Halloween theme. So, oops. There we go. And then, so you have your primary color. Then what you hear is you set your transparency. So you see on here, in my little design area, everything is the bright white. The transparency is what, what you're actually going to see in the pattern, which is just more of a blending. So if you want them to blend more, you turn uh, your transparency down even further. So we can go 10. Or you can go up a lot higher and get them closer to wider. So if we go like a 90, they're going to be real bright. So we're going we're gonna to go somewhere. We'll go back to, I think it was around 33 is what it was canvas size that's actually the size of this square most of the time i would say this is going to be uh, just fine at 250 pixels by 250 pixels so then down here what you do is you have two options you have your font awesome icons which are here 456 and there is also 456 for the different line icons here so let's see if there's anything related to halloween and there is not how about no pumpkins, so no ghosts. So this one might be a little bit difficult to do. Uh, let's see here. Mm, okay. So, well, we do have apples, so let's go ahead. I'm going to delete some of these and you select them and delete select and delete select and delete now you do want to make sure that you're getting this four-way arrow design when you click on it otherwise what happens is it thinks you're trying to add a new one so we're gonna go here and delete go here and delete go here and delete go here and delete go here delete go here delete and we're gonna go through and delete all of these real quick and clean it up and see what we can do. Okay, so we have a completely blank canvas here. So let's do an apple. So first of all, there, there you can see. So um, we can do an apple here. Again, making sure I have the arrows when I click on it, there's a couple different options I can get. I can resize it. I can change the color of it. Right now it's black, but I can also go to a white. This is Halloween, so we're going to go there. I can use this to rotate it. And then this to duplicate it. So there, it duplicated it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And we're gonna... Okay, so then let's find another, something else to add to this. We'll do a lightning bolt. 
I'll do actually let's do a little grenade here so I'm clicking on it and then I'm gonna do that now notice here you can offset them on your canvas so it's just gonna be kind of what you're looking to have we'll get our lightning bolts we'll put a smaller one there and I'm kind of looking at this but really I'm looking at the overall pattern to see how it flows um, I guess we can do, what else can we do here? Something interesting. Uh, we'll do a little eyeball. I'm going to rotate him a little bit, and I'm also going to size it down a little bit. See, now this is where, this is one of the quirks I've had is... I think I'm trying to move it, but what it's actually happening is it's drawing another one. So there's a little bit of a UI quirk, and I actually put that in my review. Um, it It's annoying at times. It's something you just have to learn. You know, it's... There it is again. But um, you get used to it, and you can, you know, you can easily fix it, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I don't like that there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this there and we're going to actually downplay a little bit. Let's see what else we can do. Um, fire extinguisher? I don't know how that's going to do. And we'll rotate him a little bit, and I think maybe I'm also going to make him a little bit smaller. And I think this is just a little overwhelming, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I already did the apple. How about this weird smiley guy? And again, we're going to rotate him and put him down here. What you want to try to do is prevent of having like these lines here they really become evident on a repeating pattern so that's why you want to try to break those lines up a little bit now see this is a little bit so I'm going to kind of break that down there and see how it kind of breaks it up a little bit so in between like here's a bigger spot so I wonder if there's one other thing maybe we can find oh, this weird little crown thing just to fill that air. So there, this isn't bad actually. So we have a Halloween themed. We picked out some icons. And now it does say 456, but I that's all I can see is here. So that's okay. Um, so then all we do at this point is we go up to here to download. It's gonna give you a URL, but we're also gonna download it. So there is the full background. And if you just want the tile, you right click and save as. Halloween background and save. So there is just the repeating pattern, or again, if you want the full screen, you can do that. So that's an example, depending on what your use case is. So there we go. And that is really the tool there. Again, there's no advertising. Uh, I've used this multiple times. I really like it. It, it. It's a very niche thing. So there's, you know, you just need exactly, you know, it's a, it's a very focused tool, but it does exactly what it, it advertises very well. So this is something you'll find on my website. I'm going to add this to my resources section. Um, I wrote a little post for it. And I'm going to post this video also on here. Just to reference it, um, briefly what I discussed, it is simple and easy. There is no minimal advertising. It is free. Uh, and as you've seen, there's a couple UI quirks, but, you know, it, it's not perfect. Um... I'm sure they'll be fixed over time, and it's certainly not um, to the point where you can't use the software effectively. So you you can. So I'm 
with this. Uh, anyways, I digress. So check it out. Um, next time you need some kind of pattern for any project that you're doing, whether social media, again, or a website, uh, this is a great and free tool. Uh, please check out my website if you're looking for additional tips and tools, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.